Okay, the next um, family of caniform carnivores that we're going to take a look at is the raccoon family, the Procyonidae. Uh, now, um, many of you, I'm sure, are very familiar with, with raccoons. They're um, pretty much everybody knows what a raccoon looks like. Oh, and I do have a skin of one here, a little masked, um, a masked face. And um, most many members of this family, well, there's only about 12 species in this family, but the number of them have this uh, banded tail. Um, they're uh, omnivores. Uh, there are a number of different um, creatures in the family. Uh, you've got raccoons. Um, animals called uh, kinkajou, also others, uh, coatis. Um, you'll find coatis in parts of the southwestern U.S., but we don't have them in California. The, um, the family is restricted to um, tropical and temperate regions of North and South America. stuff here and I've got two species in the family Procyonidae to show to you one is the very familiar raccoon Oops. Procyon loter Procyon loter and um, now I want you to think about some of the other skulls that we've looked at so far um, We've seen a few fox skulls that are about this size. We've seen the badger skull and so on. But this skull is different. This is the, the raccoon skull. And in particular, look at those teeth. These are the teeth of a true omnivore. These are, um, these are this is not, those are not sectorial teeth. They're more, um, or cecodont teeth. These are bunodont. If you look at those those molars, there they're just like our molars or the molars that you'd see in the in a pig or a bear. So raccoons are true, true omnivores. So look at that where the skull is rounded. They don't have, um, although they, I'm sure their bite is nothing to be trifled with. They don't have the powerful bite of um, of a badger. Uh, badgers are famous for their bite forces. So, just look at that rounded cranium. Uh, you can see the same on the lower jaw. Again, those bunodont, no sign of a carnassial like tooth there. And there's more lateral jaw movement on these as well. Look at the shape of that articular surface. It's not conical like you see on the on the true carnivores, so they can move to a certain ex extent from side to side. So, this is the raccoon skull. I've got a second skull here, and you can see it's this pretty similar to the first one, it's just smaller. These are real skulls, these are not models. Again, see this bonodont molars of a true. Um, of a true uh, omnivore. Also, the palate too does extend way behind the, the rear teeth. You can see that here. Rear molars. So that is, uh, you can see it on this one as well. Let's just move that out of the way. The palate goes much farther back than you saw in the skunk. Um, but there's another member of this family I want to introduce you to here as well. And I think this is a, a candidate for the cutest mammal in California. Right up there with maybe the sea otter or maybe um, the San Joaquin kit fox. But this is a ringtail. Scientific name, Basariscus astutus. But um, it's again, it's in the raccoon family, the Procyonidae. But look at the really soft fur. Very soft fur. Look at that tail. These animals are highly arboreal and they are um, very efficient predators on birds, 
rats and other uh, small mammals that they can capture in the trees or in rocks. You'll see them in, in rocky areas too. Uh, so it's uh, the ringtail, Basariscus astutus. Just showing you the fur here. And look at the feet. They've got feet like cats, like a cat's feet. Uh, um, the other thing I, I forgot to mention about the Procyonids is um, unlike so many of the other physiped carnivores, um, many of them, uh, these animals are plantigrade or semi-plantigrade, so they walk on the entire surface of the foot, including the heel. Any of you who have seen footprints of raccoons will have um, noticed that. So they have... Um, they're, they're not digitigrade like dogs and cats and um, mustelids. Uh, they're plantigrade or semi-plantigrade. So again, this is the, the raccoon family, the Procyonidae. Now the last group we're going to look at is the clade, the Pinnipedia. Pinnipedia, the marine mammals, and we'll be looking at three different families in that one clade. But it does form a monophyletic group um, within the caniform carnivores.